Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to my power. Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Racha, Kodash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Bahashom is in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world ignorantly called Jesus, and the Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. And I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of the nation of Israel that Yahweh Bashem al Shai has set up through the Spirit to lead and to guide, and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will show mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. And I'm coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. And this lesson is going to be uh, the 12 tribes of Israel name breakdown. So what I'm going to do in this lesson, I'm going to read uh, the 12 tribes. I'm going to read their name in uh, English. And then I'm going to get it in the Paleo-Hebrew. All right, and then I'm gonna get the meaning of that name, and then I'm gonna go to the book, then I'm gonna go and get the precepts, you know, to back it up. All right, so I'm gonna get right into it. Lord willing, again, this lesson is edifying. So the first tribe, okay, we're gonna begin with is the tribe of Judah, and the tribe of Judah today will be so called. Blacks, so-called African-Americans, they make up the tribe of Judah, which also our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai is from. And I should, let me just get a quick precept. Okay. So let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 4. And it reads, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, because that's his true name, Yahweh. Yahweh Shai means he saves, he delivers. So the Savior, all right, our big brother, our Lord, he sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Okay, and how you say Judah in the in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh. All right, and Yahweh means Yahweh thanks. So we're going to go to the book of uh, Genesis, chapter 29, verse 35, and it reads, And she conceived again and bare a son. And she said, Now will I praise the Lord Yahweh. Therefore she called his name Judah and left bearing. All right, so it says, now, now will I praise Yahweh. All right, so we go into that word with the Lord with all caps. All right, that's speaking about Yahweh, who this world ignorantly calls God. So Judah means Yahweh thanks. And again, in the Hebrew is Yahweh duh, right? So we're going to go to the next tribe. And the next tribe <clears throat> after Judah is Benjamin. Okay, and Benjamin today would be the so-called West, the West Indies, the Jamaicans, the uh, <clears throat> Trinidadians, um, the Bahamians. So Benjamin, again, 
It's the West Indians, West Indies. And how you say Benjamin in the Hebrew tongue is Banyamyan. All right, Ban Yam Yan, Banyamyan. And it's in it, uh, Banyamyan means son of the right. All right, so we're going to go to Genesis chapter 35 and verse 18. And it reads, and it, and it came to pass as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoi, but his father called him Benjamin. So Benjamin, again, means son of the right, son of, or son of the righteous, right? And, um, I want to go to the blue letter and we're going to just see what that word, uh, Benjamin says in the blue letter. So just bear with me as I pull it up. Hey, that's the spirit too. When you go to the blue letter and you look up this word Benjamin, the number here is H1144. So call Halayim La Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai. All right, so it says Benjamin, son of the right hand. Okay, so Benjamin, again, son of the right. So I'm going to say it one more time. Benjamin is Ban Yam Yan. Ban Yam Yan. And his son of the right. So we're going to get to, to the next tribe. The next tribe is Levi. Which will be, so, which, which will be called the so-called Haitians. Okay. Which, so, and Levi in the Hebrew is loya all right la ya loya and loya means join unto me and we're going to go and get a precept let's go to genesis chapter 29 in verse 33 and she conceived again and bare a son and said because yahweh have heard that i that i was hated he have, he have, therefore, give me this son also. And she called, oh, forgive me. I read it from the wrong, wrong verse. Forgive me. This is Genesis 29 and verse 34. And it reads, and she conceived again and bare a son and said, now this time will my husband be joined unto me. Right, lawyer. Levi means join unto me. So let's read that again. Now this time will my husband be joined unto me because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. All right. So Levi, lawyer, means join unto me. So we're going to go to the next tribe. And here is, is Simeon, which I was just reading. And forgive me again. All right, so Simeon is the so-called Dominicans. And Simeon in the Hebrew is Shemaiwan, which means affliction heard. So we're going to go to this Simeon. And that's Genesis 29 and verse 33. And she conceived again and bare a son and said, because Yahweh have heard that I was hated. He have therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Simeon. All right. Affliction heard. Right. Let's read that again. And she conceived again and bare a son and said, because Yahweh have heard that I, that I was hated. Right. Yahweh heard the cries. Right. And, and said, he have borne, Therefore, it's lucky. He have therefore given me this son also, 
and she called his name Simeon, right? And Simeon, again, in the Hebrew is Shemaiwan. And, and again, it means affliction heard, okay? So we're going to go to the next tribe, and we're going to go to Zebulon. All right, and today Zebulon will be called so-called Guatemalans all the way to the Panama. So again, that's Zebulon. And how you say that in Hebrew is Zabalawan, 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 which means dwelling. So we're going to go to Genesis chapter 30 and verse 20, and it reads, and Leah said, the Most High hath endowed me with a good dowry. Now will my husband dwell with me, right? My dwellings. Now will my husband dwell with me because I have borne him six sons and she called his name Zebulon. So Zebulon again means my dwelling or dwelling. And the Hebrew again is Zabalawan, Zabalawan. All right, and those are today they'll be called Guatemalans to two, also uh, Guatemala to Panama that make up the Zebulonites. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next tribe, and the next tribe is going to be Ephraim. So Ephraim today will be called so called Puerto Ricans. All right, the true, the true, uh nationality they're true what they're really called according to the bible is ephraim all right and you say that in, in the uh hebrew is aparium okay which means i'm fruitful so we're gonna go to genesis chapter 41 and verse 52 and it reads in the name of the second called he ephraim for the most high have caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction, right? It says, for the most high have caused me to be fruitful. All right, so Ephraim means fruitful. And again, in the Hebrew, there's a parium, okay? And you look at the Puerto Ricans, they always, they got a big family, all right? You know, my wife is so-called Puerto Rican and her mom has a huge family, all right? I believe there's, she has over 10 siblings. So, and also the land of Ephraim, I mean, the land of uh, Puerto Rico, all right? You go into that word, Puerto Rico goes into rich port and they produce a lot of um, uh, resources from that land, all right? But the Ephraimites, they are a fruitful, they are a fruitful nation. All right, so we're going to go to the next one. And the next one is Manasseh. Okay, and today Manasseh will be called the so-called Cubans. So we're going to go to, uh, before I go into Manasseh is Manasha. All right, again, Manasha, Manasha, which means made to forget. And Manasseh, again, is the so-called Cubans. So we're going to go to Genesis 41 in verse uh, 51. And it reads, And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh, for the Most High said, He have made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. So Manasseh means made to forget. And again, Manasseh today will be called so-called Cubans. All right, and, in, and the Hebrew again is Manashah, Manashah, which means made to forget. So we're going to go to the next tribe. And the next tribe is going to be the tribe of Gad, which today will they'll be called North American Indians. All right, and Gad in the Hebrew is God. And which means truth. So we're going to go to Genesis chapter 30 and verse 11. And Leah said, a troop cometh. And she called his name Gad. 
So Gad again means troop. And today, the Gadites will be called so-called North American Indians. All right. So-called Native Americans. And again, let's read this one more time. Genesis 30 and 11. And Leah said, a troop cometh. And she called his name Gad. So Gad is the troop. And that's one of the one of the three war tribes. Okay. So we're going to go to the next war tribe here, which is Reuben. And today Reuben will be called so-called Cinema Indians. Okay. So real quick, let me. Yep. So Reuben, which means see it's a son and reuben in the hebrew is ra'awaban all right ra'awaban ra'awaban which means again see it's a son and reuben is reuben was the firstborn out of all the tribes so we're gonna go to genesis 29 and verse 32 and it reads and leah conceived and bare a son and she called his name reuben for she says, surely Yahweh have looked upon my affliction. Now, therefore, my husband will love me. Right. So Reuben, again, means see, it's a son. All right. So we're going to go to the next tribe. And the next tribe is the tribe of Asher. Which today they'll be called the so-called Colombians. And Asher in the Hebrew is Ashar. 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 Which means happy am I. So we're going to go to the book of Genesis 30 and verse 13. And it reads, And Leah said, Happy am I, for my daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. So again, Asher means happy am I. And that's the tribe of uh, Slaki. That's being the so-called Colombians. And again, in the Hebrew is Ashar. All right, Ashar. And again, it means happy am I. So we're going to go to the next tribe. And the next tribe is Naphtali. And in Hebrew is Naphtalia. Naphtalia. And it means my resting. Okay, and, and the so-called Misalaka and Naphtali today will be called Argentina all the way through the land of Chile. So again, Naphtalia means my resting, and the Hebrew is Naphtalia. So we're going to go to Genesis chapter 30 and verse 8. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed, and she called his name Naphtali. So it says, and Rachel said, with great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister. So Naphtali means my my wrestling. And again, in the Hebrew is Naphtalia. All right. So-called Argentinas. Okay. And the last, finally, this is the next tribe is Issachar, which today they'd be called the so-called Mexicans. But in the Hebrew, you would say, Yashakar, all right, Yashakar, Yashakar, which means he is hired. So we're going to go to Genesis chapter 30 and verse 18. And, and Leah said, the most high have given me my hire because I have given my maiden to my husband. And she called his name Issachar, all right? And Issachar, man, is the hardest, hardest working people on the planet Earth. All right, and that's, so that's an omen nomen for his name. Issachar means, again, he is hired, and in the Hebrew, is Yashakar. All right, and again, that would be called the so-called Mexicans. So that was it. This, that was the 12 tribes of Israel name breakdown. I pray that this lesson was edifying, and I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to my power, Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom 
to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children, who Yahweh by Hashem Shai will show mercy upon in these last days, and the water Yahweh by Hashem Shai for giving me the spirit of truth, the water Yahweh by Hashem Shai for giving me the spirit to make this lesson, Lord willing, unto the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom Wam and Ababa Ball, DTF.